Hi. I hope you've had a great week. I've got lots to share with you this week, but before I do, I just want to tell you about these beautiful tulips, which I bought yesterday in the local florist. They're really budget friendly at the moment, so if you're looking for a very bright, colourful flower to brighten up your home, or maybe some white ones to look serene in your bedroom, I highly recommend buying some. A few things about tulips you might know, florists will know this of course, but um, they carry on growing when they're in their vase, which is quite unusual. And they also like bending and moving, and you might be wondering why. Well, there are two reasons. One is they're phototropic, which means they move towards the light, and the other is that they're geotropic, which means they're affected by gravity. So why not buy some flowers this weekend when you're out and about? to add some colour to your home. So, what have I been up to this week? Well, I'm going to move back to Friday, last Friday. And last Friday evening, I went into London to the UK Blog Awards. Wow, is all I can say. I, it still feels a little bit surreal now, um, but Flower Rona won an award, and I have it right here. So, here it is and it's actually the award for the individual wedding category and i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who voted for me which meant that i was then shortlisted and then there were judges who decided on the final result what a great evening and um a really i, I just can't thank everyone enough for making it happen so that was friday evening Saturday afternoon I got the train to Leicester and I went to the, um, what's called the British Florist Association, let me get this right, 2020 Vision Conference. I went up the night before because it started quite early on the Sunday and there are about 150 florists there. I've written about it in my blog post today on Flower Owner, so I'll put a link below and um, just here's just a little bit of footage. It was great to meet up with lots of florists, some I already knew and some new ones too and talk about the industry. Monday I went to see a client who wanted help with their social media and in the evening I went to the Victoria and Albert Museum to see the wonderful florist Shane Connolly who was being interviewed at the museum and here's just a little bit of footage. If you miss Shane's talk, he'll be talking next month and at the end of this video, I'll be sharing details of his event and also a few others. So that was Monday. Tuesday was a stay at home and work in the office all day day. Wednesday, I met up with Paul from Pollen Crew. Pollen Crew help florists set up and also take down events. And I'll be featuring an interview with him on Flower Owner shortly. And then I met the Floral Angels for a meeting about their charity status. Thursday afternoon, I went into London for my TV presenting course and we were filming outside. That was such fun, um, but also a real challenge because there were so many distractions of people walking past and sirens and aeroplanes, but it was a really good practice about interviewing and talking outside. And then today's Friday, this afternoon, I'm heading into London to go to Notting Hill where Toast has a store and at the moment, for the next couple of weeks, they've got a special pop-up with Botany who are a plant store. So I'm looking forward to seeing around that and I'll put some footage if I get a chance later this evening. So that's what I've been up to this week. I said at the beginning that I'd also mention a few events, so I'm just going to check my notes. 
So Shane is talking again, as I mentioned, and I really recommend going along. It will be on May the 14th at the Queen's Gallery at Buckingham Palace. And his talk is part of um, a lovely evening that's floral inspired. The Chelsea Flower Show, the RHS Chelsea Flower Show is taking place next month as well. Now, if you haven't been and you'd like to go, you need to be really quick to book tickets. When I checked earlier today, I saw that there's only tickets available for the 5.30 to 8 p.m. slots on the Thursday and Friday. So that's May 21st and 22nd. And I'll put a link below to the website. So do book within the next few days if you'd like to go along. Tickets do sell out two to three weeks before the event starts. Chelsea Fringe is also taking place next month and into June. And if you've never been to New Covent Garden Flower Market before and like to have a tour, then they're having a special tour on Saturday the 16th of May and I'll put a link below. And for the first time, Henley on Thames are taking part in Chelsea Fringe and they're having a floral flotilla. So I'll put links to that below as well. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I'd love to know your feedback and any comments and things you'd like to see in future videos. And I hope you have a lovely weekend.